Hey folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT RV. And in this video, we're going to share with you how we now transport our electric bikes on our new bike rack that we ended up getting at Walmart. And it was very affordable. Except so, Tony did a little modification to it, and we're going to share that with you. It's actually, we're getting ready to depart here at Seneca Lake, but we're going to share with you how we do all this. All right, so the bike rack that we're going to be using is the full-time RV 1300 hitch mount two bike bike rack. It has a 200 pound capacity. At the time when I purchased it, it was $119.62. And you could get it on Walmart. I think now it's probably a little bit more uh, expensive. But we did get it at Walmart. Yes, so, so let's, I'm going to bring you in a little closer and show you how we're going to do this. Okay. How are you doing? So one thing you'll notice when we are parked these bikes on gravel, we put little boards, these are left over from our decking, for the kickstands, otherwise they'll fall over. Good tip, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> so getting them out of the way, and here's what the rack actually looks like. <laughs> so let's just show them real quick the mods that I did to the rack. Okay. All right, so first off, um, I would do, for any bike rack that you get, I would add this plate. And what this does is it locks the uh, bike rack nice and tight to the receiver so there's zero movement. Then back here, what I did, I replaced this. This actually had a, a pin in it. So this was loose. It would actually vibrate or shake up and down. I didn't want that, so I locked these down nice and tight, replaced that pin with a, a nice bolt and nut. Further back here, same with these side pieces here. This had this style of a, a lock with this wing nut, so I replaced that with a good nut and bolt, or actually uh, the nut, which is a locking nut, tightened that down real well, did the same thing on the opposite side. So now, what's really nice about it is it's real solid so there's absolutely no movement there so i'm going to bring these uh actually put them on and show you how we'll uh secure now these. did you do anything with these oh uh no actually i didn't oh i, I take that back you i did, did. You reverse them what i did is i reversed these these were actually supposed to be raised and what I didn't like about doing that is it would hit the derailleur on the bike. So the derailleur, if you look over here, Tina, this is the derailleur. And we didn't want to damage that by having that bar hit it. So that's why I reversed those. And then the other thing I forgot to point out is you'll see I have a... A uh, piece of a ratchet strap that I actually bolted on through the side here so you could take a look at that and I'll show you where that ratchet uh, strap comes into play here in a bit so let's go ahead and put these on and we're gonna first start off with this one now I usually do help him but I'm gonna see uh, if he not, can it's do it not a hundred percent necessary no. it does help but uh, what I do is I'll grab it down he here. doesn't want my help. No, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> All right, and then what we're gonna do is lift here, and then we're gonna stick this on. Yeah, like so, which so isn't so bad. Goes in the cradle. Right, and then the other thing I do, I'll bring this pedal in. Usually you do that. Before. Like so, and then what I like to do is I'll bring that a little bit forward. And I would say like that. And the reason I do that is once I lock that back tire down, this bar here will actually help support the weight of the bike. So that's why I'm not too worried about removing the batteries. It has additional support. So the next step is we're gonna put these. These came with the bike rack. They may look kind of cheesy, their little Velcro um straps but they work but they actually work really well so that's i'm going to put these on like so and what i do is i only go through one of the 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 bars 
I pull it nice and tight and then just simply Velcro that on there. And we've tested these for the past year, this, this bike rack, and have not had any issues. It works really well, so I don't have a problem recommending the way I'm doing this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna strap this front wheel. And one of the nice things I like about the way we're doing this now is like Tina said, this is the evening of departure, or well, tomorrow is departure day. Yeah, evening of departure. Yeah, I guess evening, evening of, departure. of departure. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're able to get the bikes ready without having to, in the past when I was using the bins, I'd have to wait for Tina to button everything up inside. And then- It was like it, the it last just, thing we did. Exactly, and it in. took time. So now we can just do this the evening before and we're you know easy peasy we're ready to go so okay. what I'm gonna do now I just raise that bar we're gonna snug this up so and this doesn't have to be too tight but it's it's an tight enough we have the bike is resting on that as well here's the other thing I did if you notice these are the um, I guess you call them what are these clamps or what have you that uh, hooks <laughs> hooks yeah i guess that's a good did good it come one. with the thing they yeah. they came it came with the bike rack what i ended up doing though is i kind of put more of an aggressive bend on this i also wrapped pipe insulation foam and then i had this um silicon wrap and i wrapped it with the silicone uh and it it's a tape and it actually works really well if you notice, I also labeled it and it has front. So I know, you know, that we need to put this towards the front like so. And I'm gonna have to grab my uh, towel. Oh, the towel. Yes, one of the towels. I like to, the other thing I did, I positioned these cradles. So the, where the hook is gonna attach to it, is right here on our step through bikes. So I'll take and wrap our towel around here like so, just to kind of protect that bar from some chafing. <laughs> and then we're gonna push this down like so, and then we'll secure this nut. Alrighty, so our clamp is all the way down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our half inch uh, dog bone ratchet wrench and snug that down nice and tight. So that's nice and tight. And I'll show you what we're gonna do a little later to get that really secure. So now we're gonna put the other bike on. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna flip this around and also pay attention. What we're doing is we're putting the derailleur and the gears away from each other. So this bike, when I put it on, the gears and stuff are facing the trailer on this the next bike what we're doing is we're putting them away pointing towards the back so that's how i do it so we're going to put this just like a so and we're going to bring this in oh you're bringing in the pedal so yeah on that side and then we're going to lift normally tina helps me sometimes <laughs> And we're gonna lift this up. And what are these? 60. They are 60 some pounds. And keep in mind the, we have the batteries in. Yeah, 65, I think they are. And the bike rack is capable of holding 200 pounds. I feel confident it will hold even more with the improvements we did. So now we're gonna put our Velcro straps on. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll ask Tina to hold the bike from dumping over. Got it. <laughs> and we're gonna take and strap the rear tire first here. And this time I'm going to pull it towards the front. So I'm grabbing just the bar in the front, not this bar. And then I'll snug that down. Here, we're gonna bring that a little closer so it's away from the spoke. And now we're gonna cinch that down nice and tight which I'm surprised at how well, we, uh, with all the travels we've done, 
these have uh, not come loose well, at now all. Now we're gonna do the front here. <laughs> all right, so that is nice and tight there as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our hook that I modified as well. That says, what does that one say? Back. Back. So isn't that nice? Just make it easy by labeling stuff. And I need our towel to protect. I like to take the towel and wrap it around this post. Just so it doesn't rub. Yeah. We want these to stay nice. That like so. Get our handy dandy half inch wrench. We're gonna push down nice and tight. And then I'm gonna take and tighten this up like so. And this used to have one of those thumb uh, type locking nuts, the, these plastic ones. So I removed those as well and just put a traditional nut on there. I like the fact that I could get it tighter. And also, good luck if you're we're at a stop somewhere. And we normally chain these together, but they're gonna have a little more difficulty removing them because they're gonna need a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> so at any rate, now we have our both of our wheels secured. We have the bar secured. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how that ratchet strap comes into play. We're gonna take our handy dandy uh, webbing here. I have a, a loop on one end. And what I like to do with this is I will sneak this underneath Wait, the hook here where he's on the okay. just just like so and then i'll put the one end in here like that and what i like to do so i'll, I'll turn it just like that okay then this is actually part of the bike rack by the way that came with it then i run that through this way and then what I do, pull it nice and tight. Then we're gonna put this strap around this hook, just like so. What's nice about this, if you think about it, if something happened to where something gave away here, the bikes are being supported by the rack here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going down here into our ratchet part. Oh, got to feed that in there. That's all right. There we go. There we go. A little better. All right. We're going to pull that in there like so. Nice and easy. Now we're just going to ratchet that like so. And you just crank this down. And look at that. <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah, no, that's good. So that's how we secure them. So the bikes aren't going anywhere. I feel confident even on the long haul, we'll be in good shape. Now it's interesting when we are riding and with our rear camera, you can see the handlebar. So we do keep an eye on it and they aren't moving. Yeah. They're not moving at all. They, everything moves as, as one. As one, as part and of the trailer. The other thing, let's point out what we normally do. Oh, yes. Especially if we're expecting rain or something. We will cover the display here with with, with uh, plastic baggies and tape them on. We also remove the seats, so we'll take them and throw them in the back of the truck. But other than that, that's how we. But if we we're ride going a short, if we're going a short distance and there isn't calling for any rain, we won't do that. That's only when we're going long distance right, and exactly. we're going to be. We don't know what the weather's going to be. So. so the bikes are on, secured. So overnight, what we're gonna end up doing is we put the cover on just to prevent any dew and that sort of thing. Come time for departure in the morning, I'll remove the cover and we're underway. Well, there you have it folks. That's the way we now travel with our electric bikes. I hope you found this video helpful, useful, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to TNT RVing. Yeah, give us a big thumbs up, a like, and we'll see you at the campground. TNT.